what's up youtube welcome back to another video and it feel like it's been a while since it's been an entirety of video just because there's been so many limited releases coming out but i finally got one in finally was able to get one for retail uh i do have the jordan 4 in the craft colorway so let's get right into it so now honestly the first month maybe month and a half of the year has been kind of dry when it comes to releases but uh, this colorway right here, especially the Jordan 4 model, was something I was really looking forward to. Uh, as you can see, I did get my size. Shout out to my girlfriend. Her account did hit. So, you know, I had many devices that day, but apparently just hers hit. So, shout out to her for the assist. Um, so, let's get right into it. As you can see, an all gray box, nice little beige interior, standard Jordan 4 or Jordan tissue paper. So, nothing too crazy there. Let's get right into it. Like I said, boom. The Jordan 4 Craft colorway. To me, it's a clean, clean, clean colorway. I like how they mix it up with the different type of materials. So we got hints of like this off-white throughout the shoe. Now, here we go. Let me give you a quick, quick inside look of the actual sneaker. Uh, I should pop it up right here. As you can see, boom. To me, like I said, really, really clean colorway. And it's more of that neutral side of things, you know, now Jordan brand and other brands are coming out with more neutral color type sneakers. And like I saw you right now, the materials throughout the sneaker, really, really nice. I could have done without that little tab on top of the sneaker, but can't complain. We got hints of suede throughout the bottom, throughout the toe box, uppers, some sort of leather. It's not the best leather, I'll say, in hand, but it's doable, like I said, for a Jordan 4. Obviously, that little netting is not netting anymore. It's obviously some sort of suede. So, overall, really, really, really clean colorway in my opinion. So, now overall with the sneaker, uh, you can't go wrong with this colorway like I've been saying throughout the video. I personally think it's one of the better Jordan 4 colorways aside for the early rumored Thunder 4. So, to me, this is something you can wear almost every day just because it's a neutral colorway and almost with everything. So... Joy Brand did a really, really great job with this colorway. Can't really say that too often, but can't blame for this one. And when it comes to the resale value, surprisingly, they did drop a bit. Uh, right now, for a size 10 on StockX, it's $262. Last year, it was $251. So to me, that's surprising, but don't be surprised when they can shoot right back up. So we're trying to get a pair, uh, secure a pair right now. And of course, I'm going to show you the other side, the other sneaker. Just to give you a quick overview of how they're both looking, if you see any flaws, comment down below. Uh, I usually just skim throughout the sneaker. If I like it, I like it. If not, I really won't pay too much attention. So let me bring you right here. This is the right sneaker right here. Clean, clean colorway. That leather and that suede complement each other really, really well. Um, so shout out to Jordan Brand for that. You can see the suede instead of the netting, like I said. But overall, great, great sneaker. They put it together really well. The color blocking. A bit unique, but like I said, uh, can't go wrong with this colorway right here. Now, this is going to be one of the few releases that are actually worth copying in the first quarter of the year. Uh, aside from this one, out of January, it was pretty dry in my opinion. I know it has some restocks. Uh, Pandas keep restocking forever and ever. But so far, as I'm seeing on the sneakers app, uh, I don't see anything too crazy. We have some Jordan 6s coming out later this week, but nothing too crazy. Like I said, but overall, aside from this four, I am highly anticipating those Thunder fours, just because you know this has been a great since forever, so can't really go wrong. But like I said, let me know what you think about these in the comments. To me, this is a great, great sneaker, uh, worth copying. Uh, personal pair, of course. Not gonna try to flip these at all, especially because you know, like I said, the resale value is basically nothing. So can't go wrong with the sneaker. Jordan Brand did really, really well with this. And like always, uh, I'll give you some better shots as you can see for the sneaker for yourself. Uh, as you can see, like I said, throughout the video, great, great, great colorway. Nice neutral color throughout the sneaker. This is looking, it's going to look really, really well on feet. Um, overall, really, really happy with this sneaker. Jordan did his thing with this sneaker. Can't really say anything else, but, you know, finally a great, great sneaker. Can't really complain on. I hope everyone copped. If not, you can just look on those little resale websites. I'm sure they'll be up. So overall, like I said throughout the video, I'm really, really feeling these sneakers. Uh, as you can see from the photos, they look better in hand than doing photos. The photos don't do this justice just because of different materials throughout the sneaker. So overall, uh, like I said, really, really happy with this sneaker. 
if you haven't copped i suggest you to cop now just because um most likely than not they'll probably be the lowest that it will be right now and like every video if you enjoy the video don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one